This is five on your side at four, focused on you. We begin at four with a story we brought you as breaking news at noon. A hostage situation and armed standoff in St. Charles has ended. But the tense situation sparked a massive police presence as hostage negotiators tried to defuse the situation with an armed man. Thanks for being here. I'm Kay Quinn. The standoff lasted about two hours in a busy part of St. Charles City around North 2nd and Monroe. It all started just before 10 this morning and followed a court hearing. Argentina Coronel has been at the scene all day long. She joins us live with the latest. Justina. Okay, police tell us no one was hurt and that man is in custody. Now this was all resolved at 1208 after that man surrendered. Police tell me that they responded to the scene at 953 this morning for a disturbance call in the St. Charles City parking garage. The first responding officers found a man and a woman near a car in the lower level of the garage and they say he was armed with a handgun. The two remained inside of the car. There was a standoff and negotiators were called in. The St. Charles mayor tells me they were there were told a court case wasn't faced for some reason this morning and the woman entered the garage and bystanders heard screams and gunshots. Now police couldn't elaborate on those details and can't confirm of a shot fired. We did learn though that the man and woman are married. So this was relatively contained in the lower level of the parking garage. There's lots of concrete around so we felt very uh, good about the safety of the public so we did have that time to uh, negotiate with him. We're told the woman does not need to go to the hospital and she was not hurt. For now, we're still waiting to see if and when charges will come down. Reporting in St. Charles, Justina Cornell, five on your side. All right, thank you, Justina. Homicide charges are expected to be filed against a man in Belleville. Here's what we know. Officers responded to a domestic disturbance at a home on Ben Lewis Drive overnight. That's where they found the man and a woman with a gunshot injury. The woman died at the scene. Police arrested the man. He is now in custody. Did you turn on the air conditioner today? Another day in the 80s had people getting outside. There were some long waits at the car wash on Hampton, but that car may not stay clean for long. Storms are on the way. Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell is here with the Weather First forecast. Yes, Kay, we do have a chance for storms. Most of us will stay dry tonight, but there's a small chance we'll get an isolated storm popping up as the warmer, more humid air. And yes, we say warmer, more humid. It'll still be about the same temperature wise, but definitely more humid air tries to push in across the region. Right now, just a few clouds scattered around. It's pretty bright. We have an isolated storm possible this evening, mainly along and north of interstate. State 70 and especially west of St. Louis. The main storm threat is actually tomorrow from 2 until 10 during the afternoon and evening hours. And during that time, severe thunderstorms are possible. Now we look at the radar around St. Louis. Nothing really showing up at this point. Relatively tranquil. Our big storm system spinning. The energy is coming out of the Rockies. Storm system itself is trying to pull out of Wyoming. This is a dynamic system set up for the potential of giving us some active weather as we head into tomorrow. And we do anticipate seeing some pretty intense thunderstorms rolling our way, at least for some of us tomorrow afternoon. We'll get into more of the specifics on that and why tomorrow will be a storm alert day in a few minutes, Kay. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you, Scott. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker is pushing legislation he says would eliminate medical debt for thousands of Illinois residents. This morning, the Chicago Democrat asked for $10 million in the 2025 fiscal year budget. Under the plan, the state would partner with the nonprofit undo medical debt to purchase the medical debt of residents for pennies on the dollar. The state would forgive nearly a billion dollars in debt for 340,000 people. That proposed funding has not yet been approved. The Dillard store at Chesterfield Mall will not be demolished after all. The retailer has been closed since 2016 when a water main break damaged the building. The company says it's now part of the mall's downtown redevelopment plan. The plan includes thousands of apartments, shops, offices, and a hotel. No word on when construction will begin. It is still very much a construction site, but we're learning more about the grand opening of the new St. Louis County Library branch in Ladue. The Clark family branch replaces the former headquarters building on South Lindbergh. The library itself won't open to the public until July 9th, but the adjacent post event space will officially open at noon on June 1st. That's when Darius Rucker of Hootie and the Blowfish will be the featured speaker. He'll discuss his new memoir called Life's Too Short. 
Cases of the measles continue to rise across the country, including Missouri and Illinois. The CDC warning if it continues to spread, measles may be taken off the list of eliminated diseases. Five on your side's Mercedes McKay spoke with local health officials about why cases are making a comeback. Missouri and Illinois are two of the 18 states where cases are going up. Doctors say it's because vaccinations are down. Health officials believe those shots have decreased for two reasons. One, misconceptions about the MMR vaccine. And two, vaccinations dropped as a whole during COVID-19 and some families haven't caught up yet. Right now, there are a total of 121 cases in 18 states. The CDC estimates Missouri has up to nine cases right now, while Illinois has seen a total of 62 cases cases, mostly in Chicago. If exposed, symptoms can take up to two weeks to show up. Doctors say to look out for a fever, cough, runny nose, and a pink rash. Measles can be life-threatening, which is why the CDC announcing it could lose its status as an eradicated disease is worrisome to local doctors. We went 24 years as a country that the World Health Organization declared and measles was eliminated, so we'd love to keep that status. Health officials are encouraging everyone to check to make sure you and your children have your vaccinations.